Well, an historic moment at the DNC, Vice President Kamala Harris becoming the first person of black and South Asian descent to become the presidential nominee of a major party. Now the Harris Walls ticket needs to translate the convention excitement into votes. Fox A's Linda Schmidt joins us now with a look at what is next for the Dems. Linda. And you know, that is the key here. They have to be able to harness that energy and that mm -hmm. momentum and actually do something with it. Be able to get votes. And now, folks, this is where the real work begins. I promise to be a president for all Americans. You can always trust me to put country above party and self. Kamala Harris taking a jab at Donald Trump after accepting the Democratic Party's nomination. I accept your nomination. Harris calling on Americans to reject political division and instead chart a new course. Let's get out there, let's vote for it, and together let us write the next great chapter in the most extraordinary story ever told. There were plenty of digs directed at former President Trump. Harris painting him as erratic and a threat to America's security. I will not cozy up to tyrants and dictators like Kim Jong-un who are rooting for Trump. While Harris pledged to always stand up for Israel's right to defend itself, she also highlighted the suffering of Palestinians. President Biden and I are working to end this war such that Israel is secure, the hostages are released, the suffering in Gaza ends, and the Palestinian people can realize their right to dignity, security, freedom, and self-determination. Trump calling in to Fox News, criticizing the speech and Harris's record as vice president. Why didn't she do the things that she's complaining about? All of these things that she talked about, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to do everything, but she didn't do any of it. She could have done it three and a half years ago. And by the way, Harris and Trump, they're going to be meeting for their first debate in just over two <laughs> weeks from now. That's September 10th. I mean, that's hard to believe, right? Time is flying. Yeah, no, it sure yeah. is. Of course, she's getting a lot of criticism because she hasn't sat down for any sort of one-on-one -on -one interview. She's been able to sort of change this whole race up right. by going around the mainstream media, and that's driving Republicans crazy right now. It's driving them nuts. Yeah. And they, they do have a good argument there as well, and she's continuing to be criticized. But the thing of it is, like last night with the delivery of her speech, she mm -hmm. did a great job. No matter who you are, mm -hmm. no matter what pundit you are, you will say the delivery was fantastic. But there's a big difference between looking at a teleprompter and reading the words that are right there in front of you. Mm -hmm. It's easier to deliver that speech than it is to do things off the cuff mm -hmm. and one-on-one -on -one with a journalist when you're being challenged. And history yeah. has shown that she's not really strong in either one of those areas. Yeah, mm -hmm. to answer questions about policy that's not scripted. Exactly. All right, Linda, thank you so much.